tutorial. Today I've created a look based on a classic pinup look. So if you'd like to see how I created this look, stick around. All right, I'm gonna start by taking my Fast Response Eye Cream by MAC and I'm just gonna work that underneath my eyes. So kind of help to fill in the fine lines around your eyes so that your concealer and foundation doesn't set. And also kind of helps to depuff your eyes a little bit. I'm gonna take my Victoria's Secret Face Primer and I'm gonna put that all over. All right, now since we're doing a pinup look, we want the foundation to be quite matte. We don't want any shimmer or shine to it. We're gonna go quite heavy because we almost want the skin to look porcelain-like. So I'm going in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear and my Real Techniques foundation brush. And I'm just gonna buff that into my skin. And I'm using a brush because I do want heavier coverage than the Beauty Blender will give me because I'm looking for a nice porcelain skin. So I'm just gonna take my foundation and I'm just gonna work it in. All right, next I'm gonna take my Cover Effect setting powder in my puff and I'm just gonna set the foundation. You can see where it's kind of shiny, I'm gonna make that matte. So I'm just gonna take my powder and I'm just gonna press, especially in the T-zone where you would tend to get oily first. You don't wanna to powder too much under the eyes. The more product that you put under the eyes, the more likely it is to crease. So we're just gonna press this powder in. I'm gonna go in with my MAC NW15 Studio Finish Concealer and I'm just gonna use my ring finger and I'm just gonna dab it in a small triangle underneath my eye just to give a little bit of additional coverage. My allergies are bad this week, so I've got a little more darkness. And you see how I'm dabbing the concealer on? If you're wiping, you're just wiping the product away. So I'm just gonna kinda dab my concealer on. I'm just gonna use my ring finger. You could use a brush or you could use a beauty blender if you want, but Sometimes your finger is your best tool. So I'm going to go in with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I like the MAC Paint Pots on the eyes for eyeshadow. It's a good base. And you can use this with the primer or without. This really makes the eyelid really sticky so that the eyeshadow really sticks to it. But I'm actually going to be using this so that it cancels out all of the color in my eyelids. And you'll be able to see the difference when I do this eye versus the other that I don't have any pink or red showing through. Like you can see this eye is pretty much neutralized and the other eye still has some pigment coloration. So I'm just gonna take that over both eyes and I'm just using my ring finger again. And I'm making sure that I get the corner of my eye right at my lash. All right, so I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and these are all matte shadow so it's really good for a pinup look. I'm gonna do a heavy winged liner. I'm not gonna go too heavy on the eyeshadow but I'm gonna go heavier with the eyeliner so I am using my scotch tape again uh, to give me that nice clean line. And I take my tape, I line it up at the bottom corner of my eye and I bring it upwards. So always make sure that when you're doing the tape that you've got it lined up with the bottom of your lash line going up and that'll help give you a nice crisp clean line. All right, I'm gonna be using my E57 from Sigma and I'm gonna go in with the color Naked and I'm gonna take that at the edge of the tape and up into my crease. And I'll probably build on that and make it a little bit darker, but we'll just, we'll see how this goes. So I'm just taking that along the tape and up into my crease. And since we're gonna be doing a bright red lip, like I said, I'm not going too heavy on the eyes. No shimmer, no sparkle heavier on the liner, and then a nice spread, bright red lip. Okay, I'm just gonna dust that brush off. In the same palette, I'm gonna go in and WOS, and I'm just gonna pack that on my lid. pencil brush and I'm going to go in with the color Foxy and I'm just going to tap the inner tear duct just to kind of brighten that up a little bit more. Okay. 
I'm going to take my firm shader brush again and I'm going to go in with the color faint. And I'm just going to take a little bit and go over the Naked 2 color that I did. Not too much. Just to get a little bit darker in my crease. All right, now I'm taking MAC Black Track Fluid Line Gel Liner and I'm just taking an angled brush and I'm going to go ahead in and line the top of my lids. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start, I'm going to start in the center to apply the product and then I'm going to spread out towards the end and go in towards the center. If you start in the middle, that's where your heaviest product's going to be. You won't have the problem of having too much liner on the inner corner or too much on the outside. Alright, so I'm just going to start on the center. And I'm kind of doing short little strokes. Don't try to get it all in one. It's really hard to make a nice even straight line, so I'm just taking short little strokes all the way across the top of my eyelid. And I'm getting higher as I go towards the outer edges. So I want that line to be thin in the corner and heavier as I go out towards the end. Take a little bit more product and then I'm just going to follow the edge of that tape and that's going to give me a nice even line. It's up to you how far out you want to go with your liner. And then I'm just going to come back and connect it. And if you make any mistakes, it's a really easy way to clean them up. The MAC Intensive Eye Repair on a Q-tip will clean them up very, very easily. So if you make a mistake, just put a little bit of Intensive Eye Repair on a Q-tip and you can clean up. Okay. I'm just going to go on the inner corner. Alright, now I'm going to go in and tight line. And that's basically putting eyeliner on your upper waterline. That just kind of blacks everything out and makes your lashes look really full. So I'm just going in on my upper waterline. And this takes some getting used to. It's not really a normal thing, I guess, to be poking your eyeball. Alright, so I've got our liner done. I'm going to go in with the color Foxy again and I'm just going to take that to my brow bone and kind of smooth and blend out that edge a little bit more. And we're not going to line the bottom. Pinup looks typically have the underneath unlined. I am going to take my Scandalize Rimmel eyeline pencil in the color Nude and I am just going to line in my waterline. Um, this is a nice alternative to white. If you line your lower lids with a lighter color, it makes your eyes appear more brighter open and you don't look so tired. So I'm just going to take this color and I'm just going to go in my waterline. And this is just going to make my eyes look more open. And I'm going to line all the way in with that. So you can see the difference from one eye to the next. You can do white too, but I just feel like white looks a little artificial. It's a little more stark and noticeable than the nude color. Okay, so I've done both my water lines. Right, and I'm using a MAC 208, which is a small little shader brush. Going in with my Coastal Sense Blush Palette, I'm just going to put a little flush of color on the cheeks because I'm doing such a strong bright red lip. I really don't want the two to compete, so I'm just going to take a little pop of color and pop it on my cheek. Okay, on the lips. So to prepare my lips, I've already applied some EOS Lip Balm. 
Anytime you're putting on lipstick, especially reds, which can be pretty drying on your lips, you're going to want to moisturize your lips really well first. I like to put the moisturizer on and let it sit in for a little bit so that my lips are nice and moisturized. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Urban Decay Ozone Lip Pencil, and I'm just going to line on the outer parts of my lips, and this will just keep the red from feathering. I'm actually not filling in my lips with it. I'm going on the, my lip line. Taking my MAC lip pencil and Cherry. And I'm going to fill in my entire lip. I'm going to outline it and then I'm also going to fill in the lip. This will help to give your lipstick really good staying power. So I'm just going to follow the shape of my lip and I'm going to fill it in completely with the pencil. Alright, now I'm taking my NYX lipstick in Extreme Red, and I'm going to be using a lip brush to do this. I feel like you get better coverage and better staying power if you use a lip brush. So I'm just going to go back over the lip liner with my red. And I'm starting in the center and I'm going to push the color out. If you were to start on the edge and you had too much product on your brush, you would probably get it on your skin. So we're going to start in the center and push the product out. Alright, so now I'm just going to pop on some Red Cherry number 600 lashes. And I'm going to be using my Duo Adhesive. And this is the Duo. This is really my favorite one to use. Now whenever you're trying on or putting on false lashes, I like to take them off and try to see if they fit your eye first because a lot of the times they're too long for your own lash, lash line. So these are a little bit too long, so I'm just going to take some scissors and I'm just going to trim them off from the front part of the lash just a little bit. Okay. So you're going to let that set for almost a minute before you try to put it on your lashes. If you try to put it on too soon before the glue has had a chance to set and get tacky, it's not going to stick to your skin. So give it about a minute to set before you try to stick it to your own lash. A chance to set I'm just going to take some tweezers and grab the lash in the center and I'm going to stick it right at my lash line right where the black liner is as close to your own lashes as possible and I'm laying the ends down with the tweezers you see how easy that grabbed if you wait for your glue to dry I'm just taking my tweezers and I'm pressing the lashes in at the base of my own lashes. And I'm just going to mesh the two lashes together, my own and the artificial lashes. So I'm just going in at the base and making sure that I really cover my own lashes because my own lashes are not near as dark as these. So I'm making sure that I go in and cover up my own lashes with the mascara. I'm taking a little bit on the tips of the false lashes, not too much. You don't want it to get clumpy. 